Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 in VR. So the first thing I recommend you doing is actually launching the game normally in monitor mode and go into your options, then go to keys and buttons, then scroll down oh, pretty much all the way down to the bottom and you see that setting for reset head head tracking make sure you assign the key here to whatever it is you like and basically what it does it will recenter your vr headset so sometimes when you put your vr headset on after launching the game the headset will be a little bit off and once you hit that button it will recenter your view in the headset so another thing I recommend you doing, I don't know about you, but myself, sometimes I like to play in VR and sometimes I like to play in a monitor mode. So to make it that transition as easy as possible, I copy my config files. So to find your config files, there's a link just here now and I also put it down in the description. That's where the config files are by default, so if you didn't change your default location, that's what it's gonna be. So you go to your documents. Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator and then you copy this file that says config. Now I'll suggest you make a folder that will say ETS2 VR and ETS2 non-VR so that way you will always know which one is which one. And basically copy that file into ETS non-VR for now and then whenever you're done with the VR settings then you will do the same thing and copy that config file into the VR folder. So whenever you want to play in the monitor mode, you will just copy back non-VR config file into your Truck Simulator 2 folder or American Truck Simulator folder. Now, once you've done all that, you need to go to Steam, then you need to right-click your Euro Truck Simulator name or American Truck Simulator, it's exactly the same process. And then you go to your properties and you go to that little tab that says betas. And in your case, it should say none, but to make it work in VR, you need to download the top version of Oculus slash Vive version of the game. So once you click it, it will automatically start downloading and installing it for you. So once that version is installed, you go again, you right click it, you go to properties, and then you click, click set launch options. Now over here, it depends whether you're Oculus user or Vive user or any other headset user. If you're Oculus user, you just type in dash Oculus and hit OK. If you have any other VR headset, then you type in dash open VR and you hit OK that way. Now in the future, if you want to play in the monitor mode, you don't have to download a different version of the game. All you have to do is go back to that uh, launch options and just delete everything and hit OK and that will allow you to start your game in a normal monitor mode. Now, once you launch the game, I suggest you go to your graphic settings and I'll give you a few tips on how to set it up correctly. So first of all, the resolution. The resolution you can see here has nothing to do with your VR headset. That resolution that you set up here, it's all to do with the preview window that will show up on your monitor while you're in the VR headset. So basically the lower resolution you set here, the better because obviously your computer doesn't have to work as hard on the preview window. Now the refresh rate and vertical synchronization, you also don't touch that. That has nothing to do with your VR headset. Now scaling. Scaling basically improves your graphics. Now I would suggest you start with the scaling of 100% in the VR and then if your machine is good enough, slowly change it to higher settings until you hit the happy medium. When it comes to anti-aliasing, now that setting in 99% of cases is absolutely useless. Feel free to experiment with that, but you will not see any difference in the VR headset, but that setting will still consume a lot of your resources from the PC, so it's better to just disable it. And one more option that I want to mention here is to disable the depth of field, because obviously that's not needed when you have VR headset. All the other details of your graphics, I leave it to you because of course everyone has a different PC setup. So you need to experiment yourself what works best for you. 
Now, if you're an Oculus user, however, I can recommend you one more tool that will make setting up all the graphic settings within the game much easier. So if you follow that link, if you install your Oculus in the default folder, that's where you should find that program. The program I'm talking about is called Oculus Debug Tool. And this is how it looks. So the best tool here to help you setting up your graphic settings in VR is the last option, the one that it says visible HUD. And by default, as you can see, it says none, but you can change it to performance. And that's what you should see in your VR headset when you set it up like that. As you can see, the performance of my computer is not the best, but it's still enough to show you how it all works. So basically, once you have that in your VR headset, that's the time that you can experiment with different graphic settings and see the effect it has on your FPSs as well as your general performance of the game. There's one more setting here that I want to mention, and it's called Asynchronous Space Warp super hard to pronounce by default it's disabled and uh, that basically changes a lot in your graphic it, it it's something to do with the motion i don't quote me on that i don't exactly know what it does but all i know it's that it has massive impact on the performance of your pc when it comes to vr so there's four options here disabled force 45 fps asw disabled force 45 FPS, ASW enabled and auto. So by default, you should either have it uh, on disabled or on auto. Now you can change those. And let me show you here. If I change it to disabled, as you can see, uh, my FPSs go up, but the experience within the VR headset is actually worse because the, the picture isn't smooth. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on the, on the video here, but but there's a lot of stutter and it's just not, not smooth, not fluid at all. Now, if I change it to force 45 FPS ASW enabled, it forces the 45 FPS, but at least in my case, it makes the game way more fluid and way more smooth and it's actually enjoyable to play. Now, one more thing I wanna mention is to change those settings that I'm talking about here now, you don't actually have to do it through Oculus Debug Tool and go back and forward between the tool and the game. There is actually an easier option to do that. You can actually use your numeric keypad to do that. Now make sure it's enabled. And then all you have to do is just uh, press Control-0, Control-1, Control-2, or Control-3 to scroll through all them options that I just showed you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave it a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.